Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a video today that is considered a get ready with me. I wouldn't say it would be a chatty video because I don't think I'm going to talk too much. I will do a voiceover on part of the video and then I'll talk on some of the video. Hopping right in, I am going in with a clean face. I did wash my face and then go over my face with my wipes here. If you haven't picked these up yet, I definitely would. They're only $1 at the Dollar Tree and they work well, I'm just going to spool it through my brows. I did go through my brows with the ABH pencil lightly and then now I'm just going to deepen them up on the middle and the tail end. Nothing crazy because I really don't want precise eyebrows. I just want a little bit of color and then I am going to go in with the e.l.f. concealer in the shade medium sand to prime my lids. Now that I have my lids all primed up, I am going to go in with this lighter side with the Makeup Revolution Duo Face Scalp Palette and set that down lightly not too much did anybody watch the Jaclyn Hill I'm back video or where I was video I couldn't get through the whole thing at all I don't think I'll be purchasing anything from her cosmetic line just for the simple fact that it's too much controversy with her the last thing I purchased was the well the only thing I've ever purchased associated with her was the Jaclyn Hill palette and then the vault and actually I used the Jaclyn Hill palette maybe twice and the vault is still brand new I've had it for a long time I've never even used it, it was too much going on with it all right now that I have that set down I am going to be using my NARS palette today and I've actually had this in my collection for a while and it's the ignited palette and i don't think i've ever used this uh, i might have used that brown but that's what it looks like and i'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette today i'm not going for nothing too crazy i'm not going anywhere so i am going to go in with a fluffy brush from alamar cosmetics and it's just a blending brush this lighter of the browns color right there I might do a cut crease I don't know yeah I'm sorry I won't be purchasing anything from her cosmetic line oh these are pigmented so I'm just going in with a fluffy brush and just patting this into the corner and I'll blend more in a little bit. I'm just laying down the color. Let me zoom y'all in some. There would be a helicopter flying over my house right now while I'm filming, but whatever. So yeah, the last time I talked to you guys, I told you I would be recording more because I had all my dental work done. Unfortunately, I had to go back to the dentist because I was like still having pain that I wasn't used to having after I got my implants put in. And I just had to like twist some things around and I do feel a lot better. I actually was supposed to go today for a cleaning, but I rescheduled it because I've literally been at the dentist every day. Not every day, I'm sorry. Once a week for the past few weeks. And then now I'm just going to take a clean, fluffy, ugh, I'm making a mess, a clean, fluffy brush and go along the edge of this with no product just to blend it out some or 
what it's trying to do. Hopefully I'm not too close up in y'all face because sometimes I look back at my videos and I'm like, whoa, chick. You could have moved that camera all the way back. So yeah, um, last time I talked to you, I did tell you like I'm not going to be buying a bunch of new releases because I have so much new makeup that's just sitting in my collection that I literally have not touched and I do want to use it. So if you have eyeshadow palettes that you've purchased because someone suggested that they were good and you buy them, I will be making looks probably with those same eyeshadow palettes. I don't know about anyone else, but I like to see looks with eyeshadow palettes that I actually have versus every release that comes out. And I still am having the giveaway. Just when I get to 8,000 subscribers, I've been really busy working. Um, I'm just going back with those two brushes. The one with the product and one with no product. Yeah, I've been really busy working. And then at the end of August, my classes do start back up. So I'm really trying to fit in where... Filming will come in at. Now I am going to go in with the Lucky C Angle Brush that is extremely small. And this is what it looks like. And I'm going to take that and put the deepest brown that's in the eyeshadow palette right there into my outer V. And just deepen that up some. Okay, I am going to cut my crease off camera and I will be right back. I'm using I actually started my left eye off camera. I thought I would hop back on since it is thunderstorming real bad and I may lose electricity. I am going in with my Too Faced glitter glue and I'm just going to pop that over the concealer. I'm going to cut my crease and I'm only going to take this halfway because this glitter glue does dry really fast so I am dipping into this glitter press glitter right there I probably should have went in with a lighter color because it does look a lot like my crease but I'm gonna roll with it since I already started the thunder this is actually like my favorite type of weather rain and snow yeah I probably should have went in with a, a lighter color and then gradually dipped into the darker pigment spot whatever trial and error I'm gonna add the rest of that glue that I have here Slightly on the edge. I don't want to add too much. I'll wipe some off. I like such. And I am patting instead of swiping the glue. Yeah, to me it all looks like the same color. Let's see if I can go over the front with a little bit of a, of a lighter color. Just right here. Just to lighten it up a little bit. That didn't really do much, but whatever. Alright. With the rest of this glitter glue I do have on the back of my hand, which is a little bit, I'm going to just put it here and bring that glue 
that glitter, bring that glitter shade all the way over. Like that. I don't know how I feel about this, but whatever. It looks really wet. I do like it. I just wish it didn't clash with my crease color so much. So, per usual, I have been using the Luxie Pixie by Petra mascara a lot lately. It is really raining. My poor husband is outside with the kids. Running errands. Hopefully, they did everything they had to do. I will be popping on fall seeds. I don't want to do a wing liner, but I will go over my lash band with some liner. And off camera, I'm going to pop on some lashes real quick and I will be back to do my face. I will be using my lashes from Beauty Hut in the red box. The style is her. So when I come back, I'll show you what they look like. Okay, I'm back. I did pop on lashes, like I said, from Beauty Hut Cosmetics in the style her. And they are in the red box and this is what they look like. Um, and then I did put some wet and wild liner on to hide the lash band i did go a little ham with the liner that was not my intention but whatever i'm at the point where i don't care i'm not really doing anything all right so now that i have that all together i am going to prime my face and doing so i am going to go in with the no problem no problem primer i'm just going in with the bare minimum like a pea size less is more with me and I'm just putting that inside my teeth on I do have dry skin so on top of that I am going to add my primer water by Giovanni Cosmetics and on my face and as far as foundation, I really don't want to put any foundation on today. So I'm going to use a Stiblin brush, foundation brush from Kony, uh, Sonia Kashik. And I'm going to put literally one pump of the L foundation in the shade Buff. And I'm just going to lightly go over certain places, more so like my little freckles that I have here. And to cover up a little bit of the redness that I have, but I don't want foundation all over my face. I really don't care for full coverage. I mean, if you have like hyperpigmentation that you're trying to hide or conceal, then that's cool. But as far as me, I don't wanna put too much on my face. And then for concealer, I am going in with the Ulta Concealer in Medium Warm. You hear that noise, that is the rain beating up against my window. And I'm just putting a little bit of that. And sorry, it's my phone. And I'm just gonna blend that out this whole time but Ooh. so to set underneath my eyes I am going to go in with the collab set the stage ultra fine loose powder in sand beige this is my first time using this uh, I didn't add it to my haul because it was already in my beauty room drawer but I hear people talk about how good this powder is so I want to shake and I'm just going in with a small 
the brush to that already. The eyes with it. Hmm, this is a powder I can set actually my whole face with. Uh, I thought it will be a little bit lighter. Like to set underneath the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is just go in with a fluffier brush and just dip into that powder and then smear it all over. Like that. Yeah, I'll be using this to set my whole face with and then I'll go back and get a lighter one to set underneath my eyes, but I do right the way that I feel. Yeah, I was going to set my face with my Laura Geller powder in medium. I may still do a little bit. Creature of habit. Since I really don't have any foundation on. And do that. And to bronze up, I am going to use that same brush and go in with that powder. That is in that duo from Makeup Revolution that we used earlier. And let's see how this bronze made up. I'm not contouring, I am just bronzing up my skin. Okay, now I am going to hop back into the eyeshadow palette that I was using and do underneath my eyes. And I'm just going to take a Sony Kashuk flat angle brush like this and take hmm, these two colors, the two matte colors right here and here, and go underneath my waterline. This brush makes it so much easier, so huge. You just literally stamp it and swipe. Voila! All done. And I'm going to take that mascara that I used on my top lash, but with the smaller wand that's at the top, comes with two. That's the one I use for my top lashes. And here is the one I use for my bottom ones. So I'm going to tilt my head down and. I'm going to be using the Makeup Obsession Isn't It Peachy Blush Palette and I'm going to be using the shade Daydream and Bloom, the two here, this one and the one on the end. I'm just a little bit and add some Lip gloss. I had some rose oil on my lip that I made, and here I'm going in with the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss in the shade Watch Me Do. Smash perfect with my eyes. This is not sticky. Mm, it smells like berries. Okay. And I'm going to spray my face and then we are going to highlight. I'm going back in with the Giovanni Cosmetic Rose Water. Spray my face down. This video is not as long as I thought it was going to be. I wanted most of it to be a voiceover, but I figure since you haven't heard from me in a while. I will at least talk through. I'm going to go in with the Old Darling Extra Highlighter. And this is what she looks like. I've been trying to get my husband to take me back to where I got this from for a while now. And I hope they still have it because it's not in the stores anymore. I probably really could have went with like a, hmm. Whatever. I could have went with like a more pinky color highlight, but whatever. 
let me know some videos that you guys would like to see me do because like I said I'm not really buying any new makeup I do have some things in the works that I will share with you guys I will have a link below where you can purchase lashes and everything and like I said um I will have some things coming to the forefront just to keep you guys updated on what is going on with me and or what I what I'm doing so I think that was it I don't miss out on anything I'm highlight blush and if I did miss it then I really don't need it because to me this looks pretty good so do not forget I do have a giveaway at 1000 subscribers if you subscribe you could possibly win that giveaway I wish I get there faster than sooner because like I said I have a lot of stuff um and like one or two people are going to win that leave me some comments down below of videos you would like to see I do have a lot of clothes stacked up over here in boxes so I do plan on doing some you know budget friendly try on clothes hauls for you guys and some other things so like I said comment and subscribe if this is your first time here and I will check you out in my next video Bye.